Welcome pen pals, this is Tom with Goldspot Pens. Today I have a special arrangement of pens for you from a brand new manufacturer of fine writing instruments, Leonardo Officina Italiana. And as you can see here, we have a beautiful arrangement of all, not only the latest edition, which is the Furore, but we also have the Momento Zero, and uh, we also have a limited edition here. We're gonna take a look at everything, uh, but first I want to kind of introduce you to the brand. Uh, I was introduced by kind of going through Instagram as people do these days and flipping through and just seeing beautiful, beautiful pictures of these Italian uh, acrylic and celluloid and ebonite pens. And I just completely fell in love from day one. And uh, seeing other people post pictures of their pens, getting them in real life and then putting reviews out on them, uh, I just was, I was sold that these things looked of like they were going to be like in real life and sure enough they did not disappoint when we got them in um, the images from Leonardo definitely show these pens in a beautiful light and as you're going to see here in this video uh, we're going to give you a detailed look at both the Momento Zero and the Furore and we're going to give you also a writing sample uh, but most of all we're going to give you tons of delicious pen shots for you to take a look at. The Momento Zero collection represents a fresh start for Ciro Matrone. His 40 years of experience crafting fine writing instruments for Delta is being passed down to his son Salvatore. One can see the Italian influences of this pen in the details. The body shape and finials are reminiscent of an Omas Arte Italiana. The wheel clip is a detail commonly found in Omas, Montegrappa, and Delta pens. And, of course, who could overlook the use of Italian acrylic resin, ebonite, and celluloid, some of the finest materials in the world. What makes Leonardo Officina different from other Italian writing instruments is a commitment to simplicity, centered around the writing experience. Ciro and Salvatore dispensed with ornate trims, cap bands, clips, and other distinctive flares in favor of letting the pen's craftsmanship speak for itself. First, there's the material of the pen, eye-catching acrylic resin adorned in thin bands of gold or rhodium. To emphasize the fact that this pen was handmade, each Leonardo is individually numbered with an engraving on the barrel. The experience is complete once the nib is set down upon paper for the first time. But before we get writing, let's take a look at the dimensions of the Momento Zero compared with other similar Italian pens. The story continues with the Furore collection. Introduced in October 2018, the cigar shape of the colorful acrylic resin body tapers to rounded finials on the barrel and cap. The color choices are inspired by the magic of the Amalfi Coast, specifically the small town of Furore. As with the Momento Zero, each pen color is fitted with either rhodium silver or gold appointments. Here are the specifications of the Furore. So now that I've talked these pens up quite a bit, it's time for the rubber to meet the road, or for the pen to meet the paper. The Leonardo nibs aren't your ordinary number six size Bach steel nibs. Although they are made by Bach, they undergo a special harmonic process that softens them up a bit, giving them more pliability and bounce. The writing experience is smooth with a wet flow. The curvaceous shape of the section allows your fingers to grip the pen with a secure hold. 
the pen's weight with the cap posted is exceptionally well balanced and comfortable to write with for long sessions. A 14 karat gold nib option is only available on the Ebonite or Celluloid limited editions at this time. Is the upgrade worth it? As the owner of this Mediterranean celluloid pen, I say absolutely yes. The gold nibs are extremely smooth, almost to a fault. In fact, the tip on mine had a slight case of baby's bottom, which resolved itself after a few sessions of writing. For those who are unfamiliar, baby's bottom is a term that refers to the overpolishing of a nib that may cause some hard starts. As you see here, this 1.3mm stub writes wonderfully wet and even writes beautifully with the nib upside down. So this is the Leonardo Officina Italiana collection that we have available at goldspot.com. In the coming weeks, we're planning on expanding this collection to include several of the other colors that you don't see here uh, in the Furore and in the Momento Zero. Uh, and if fountain pens aren't your thing, uh, we do have roller balls available of each of the different styles as well, except for the limited editions, which don't aren't offered in roller ball. Uh, and each of these designs are available also in either gold trim or rhodium trim. So I'm interested to know what do you think of the Leonardo Officina Italiana collection? Um, you know, let us know in the comments below. Tell us which style is your favorite. Um, if you want to see amazing new pens, uh, nib comparisons, and live unboxings, subscribe to our Gold Spot Pens YouTube channel and don't miss a single thing. And as always, I appreciate you guys for watching and stay inky, my friends. Take care. Mm -hmm.